In this video, we are going to publish an ebook on Barnes & Noble step by step. Right now, I'm on my projects page. When you're on this page, click on create a new book. In this video, we are publishing an ebook. So we're going to select ebook. Then click on next. Fill in the book title for your book. Then click on next. Answer the question whether this book is going to be a pre-order. The book that I'm working on, it's not. So I'm going to select no, it's not. Then click on next. Since this is an ebook, you have several formats you can use. The file I have is an EPUB. And answer the question, does the interior file include your cover? For the book that I'm working on, it doesn't. So I'm going to select no. Don't worry, you will be given the option to upload the ebook cover in a bit. The processing your file page shouldn't take too long. Right now, it is already taking longer than expected. A possible reason is that the file name is not in English. So if you are running into any problems, the first step to troubleshoot is to change the file name so it's completely English. I'm going to give this two more minutes if it doesn't go through, then I'm going to stop it and rename the file. I'm going to go ahead and reload the page. Then let's drop this file now that I have renamed it to English. See how it doesn't take too long for it to go to the second stage? Now we are going to review the interior file. Looks good. Then I'm going to click on I have reviewed and approved my manuscript. Then click save and continue. I do not have a custom sample, so I'm going to go ahead and select the choose the default sample option and that will automatically include the first 5% of the book. Select that and then save and continue. Here's the option to upload the cover file. Your cover file must be between 5K to 2MB. Both formats that I have are bigger than that. If you're on a Mac, what you can do is right click on the image file, then click on quick actions. And over here, we have an option that says convert image. Click on that and I have the option to convert to JPEG. And I have it select as actual size, then convert to JPEG. And now I have a much smaller file, which is AO4 KB. Now I'm going to drag and drop that. Now we have the chance to review the entire ebook. Here's the cover, and then you can go through it to make sure the format and everything is good. You can also click on show chapters to view the chapters. Once you have reviewed the file, go ahead and check the box that says I have reviewed and approved my cover. Then click on save and continue. Here we are going to enter details about a book. The items that are already filled up are correct, so I'm going to leave them as they are. Is this book part of a series? For this particular book, yes. And then I'm clicking on, on the drop down menu. Because there are already books in the series, I just need to select the correct one. For this book, it is Chinese Greater Readers with Audio. Book number is optional, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And then here you have two boxes to fill in the description for the book. After you fill it in, you can click on previewed to see what it looks like when other people see it. Once it's all good, click on save and continue. And over here, fill in the author information or 
whatever options you need over here. And then fill in the author bio. Barnes & Noble does not allow external links. And over here, we have a right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Let's see if it will go through with just this. Okay, so if you don't hyperlink it, then it's all good. Click on Save and Continue when ready. Now we are on the Categories page. So let's select our audience. For the audience, select the appropriate audience for your book. And then the language. Next, you can choose up to five categories that are most relevant to your book. The first one is your primary category. This book is a nonfiction, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. You have two ways to find your categories. You can either click on search categories and type in here to search for your categories, or you can go through the categories list and select it from there. Let's try the search categories. And reason I said let's try is because sometimes it glitches out and doesn't work. Let's type in memoir. Remember that on the previous page, it says that I can select up to five, but sometimes they might only display first three. So I'm going to adjust this to make sure that the language reference is definitely selected. So I'm going to move this up. And then in terms of history for this particular book, mm, it covers both time periods. The main character's life is after 1949. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that. So it looks like this. It is first a memoir and then Chinese language and then Chinese history. So I'll do that. Once you have selected the categories, click on continue. And I hope it's... Ooh. <laughs> awesome. It actually did save my selection. Good, good. Next, we have keywords for search engine. Once you have entered the keywords, click save and continue. Now you set the price for your book. Then click on save and continue. Here you answer questions related to the rights and all the information, such as do you want DRM encryption for your book? For this book, I'm going to choose no for DRM. It's the content in the book created using artificial intelligence. And if you're not sure how to answer this section, you can click on the need help answering this question to bring out additional information related to it. For this book, it's a cover image that used AI. So it's AI created for the cover image. And then is this book in public domain? For this one, it's a no. Do you have an ebook specific ISBN? The good thing about ebook is you do not need an ISBN. So if you don't have one, it's totally fine. This book does not have one, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this as it is, as I know. Then click on Save and Continue. Next, if you have any reviews, you can put them right here. This book doesn't have any at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Continue. Now we are reviewing our ebook summary. Here, double check to make sure everything you have entered is correct. When it's all good, scroll all the way down and then click on put on sale and confirm it by click on put on sale again. And now on the My Projects page, you will see the status of your ebook. Currently, it says publishing. Let me reload this page. I just reload the page and now I can see the EAN. When it's all done, it will look something like this where it goes to the last one with a little check mark and says on sale. Hope this helps. And if you don't mind, I'd love to know what book you're publishing.